if you're interested, what I'd like to do is set up something and we'll, I'll fund it somehow that I think, and I think you're the perfect guy, we help knit together this populist nationalist movement throughout the world. Because guys in Egypt are coming to me, the Modi's guys in India, Dutarte, you know, and, and we get Orban and, and even thing, and we're somehow some sort of convening authority for conferences and stuff like that, so we can get okay. ideas out there. I mean, do you think that's a, do you think that's a worthwhile thing? Yeah, or think, it's, I'm not, well, nobody's it's, got it, nobody's um, doing it right now. It's not being done. The reason we're gonna beat Corbyn and Sanders is they're not prepared to take on the powers that be. We're fire breathers. I mean, we're taking on the yeah, establishment every day. Uh, You've taken on the Tory party, yeah, I'm taking on the yeah, Republican party. Yeah. They don't have that, and that's why we can steal a march in them. And, and the reason they don't, they don't wanna do it, it's immigration. As long as they don't take on the immigration, they, they just refuse to take on the immigration, we're prepared to take it on. Yes. It's a global revolt. It's a zeitgeist. We're on the right side of history, but it's gonna need the motive power. And the thing that's missing is, that's what I'm really trying to put together now, is the ideas. The, the ideas have to come in more sharp focus. The economic ideas, the political ideas. You've also moved, Steve, into a different place. Yeah. The minute you stood up on that stage, in Alabama, you became a different figure. Yeah. <laughs> you're in a different place now. You're not just fixing stuff and operating behind the scenes and yeah. making it happen. Yeah. You're now the face of it.